I'm sure a lot of you may know by now, I hate phase ships. I hate using them. I hate fighting them and I hate everything about them. So I fought for a new challenge to redeem myself for forcing people to pay taxes last video. I tortured myself by only using phase ships. Uh, here we go. This is not a video I wanted to do, but let's give it a punch, shall we? How, how bad can this go? Phase one. So I think our first way of making money is going and fighting some pirates. So let's head over to this system bowie over here. Our usual favorite starting one. If I can't beat pirates with the phase ship I currently have, uh, I might as well end the video now. Starting off straight away, a 1v4. Now, we should be able to win this very easily. <clears throat> yeah, so this battle may have taken me eight attempts until finally... There we go. Big hit. God damn it. He's got a shield there. But that's okay. Get up. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Use our special ability, the lightning. Ha-ha. All right. We just got this one ship to go. Come on, James. You can do this. Right. It's firing shots. Duck in. Whack it round. Exploit the armor. Big shot. Do it all again. Duck around. Big shot. I'm amazing. I'm so good. This is only taking me eight attempts. But I've finally done it. I won my first combat. Okay. Time to disengage. Okay. I'm out. All right. Let's do this again, shall we? Oh, that's five ships there. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's give it a go. Yeah! Come on! God, I have never been so hyped over winning battles in this game. All right, we got 14 grand paid to us. Let's see if there's a ship available. Still got this gremlin here, which we can buy for 32,000. Get in my fleet. With my new addition to the fleet, I went back to fighting pirates and slowly started to get the hang of using these phase ships. I was going for a simple tactic of running headfirst at my target ship, going through them, and then planting an antimatter blast around straight into their ass. All right, well, we just got paid again, and the system bounty has just run out, so we need to look for something else to do. This guy wants me to chuck down a spy set, which shouldn't be too much of a problem for us, because our sensor profile should be ridiculously low. 110, not bad. So this should be a piece of piss. We just need to uh, buy some fuel so we can get there. While we've arrived, I'm not really sure what those uh, security units are doing. They're sort of just bouncing into the star. Okay, there is also, there is also quite a lot of them, so uh, I think the game plan is we're going to have to sort of sit over over here just caught here we have a sensor range of 14 so hopefully moving through this asteroid field they shouldn't have a clue where i am da -da, da -da -da -da. easy maybe this is actually the way we should make money and screw all this combat we should just become spies with our newfound wealth i decided to pay the no such organization a visit now you're probably wondering who the hell they are. Well, this modded faction and a small selection of phase ships and was a vital part of me achieving a full phase fleet. Otherwise, this video would have been just me with a fleet of gremlins and uh, no one wants to see that. All right, well, I feel like the sensible idea would be to get a cargo ship considering I can only hold 34, 35 cargo. Let's grab this one. So that means this thing will give us 260 cargo space, which is game changing. We have another system bounty where we were, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea. We've also got a couple of bounties up here, which we could actually deal with. All right, let's go clap ourselves a couple of bounties, shall we? We should be able to take them. They're low-tier garbage. We're the high-tech cool kids right now, and there ain't nothing they're going to be able to do about it. All right, here we are. Here's bounty number one. Uh, I'd like to think I can beat that. I mean, it's a Buffalo Mark II, for God's sake, and a load of other crap. I can't beat a Buffalo Mark II. I might as well just end now. <laughs> End it all right now. Oh, he's getting it. He's actually learning it. I'm getting better at this. All right. Give me all that. We can actually take all this stuff. What you guys are seeing at the moment is a legend in the making. All right. Well, I only could find one of the bounties. I searched every system and he wasn't at any of the volcanic worlds, but that's fine. All right. Here we are. Let's find the bounty. He's near a volcanic world, apparently. We've heard, we've heard that before. Okay, well, he's generally not here. Oh, God. Okay, this system's a warding beacon. Well, that means we're going to die to remnants, I guess. Something over here. Okay, there's an orbital habitat here. We've got a single occupied sleeper pod, which only means... Oh, my God. He's actually level seven. This... Look, look at this man. This is the sort of man that's going to carry me to victory. All right. Let's go kick this bounty's ass. I don't think they realize what they're in for now. Oh, 
For a moment, we were inside each other, but now, killing this wolf together. I am the phase god. Okay, I can finally get phase coil tuning, which uh, which basically just makes life a little bit easier, shall we say. It also gives me uh, the whole mod of phase anchor and adaptive phase coils, which is pretty damn tasty. All right, now this afflictor here is what people have been telling me to buy, mainly because of the amplifier here that basically increases the damage taken by the target ship. From what I understand, the tactic is, is just more of these antimatter blasters. That, that's all it is. Just stick three of those on the front of this thing and we'll have a great time. There we go. Right. So this is how this works. You, you, you're having a good time. You're flying around. You see someone you want to kill and then you hit them with that. They're amplified, swing round the back, line up the shot, the triple blaster. Look at that damage. Phase back out, and then you just blast again. Okay, maybe we can't use free. <laughs> maybe free is a little too much flux for us. Now with our new afflictor, I wanted to test this thing out in a proper combat environment. So once again, I ventured back out into deep space to fight some bounties. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it actually one shot it. Right, watch this. Whack around. Doesn't really matter, actually. Blast it. Oh, <laughs> oh, this thing. I think I think we're gonna have good fun. This is this is good. This is real good. I can confirm I did have good fun. I was flying through people and blasting them with the antimatter guns, and that was pretty much what I did for about an hour. With all the money I had collected from the dead, I had decided to expand the fleet with this phase carrier. And uh, I, I, I promise I didn't just leave the talent interceptors on it the whole game. Oh, I'm not going to say no to some free ships. All right. Well, now I've actually got a nice fleet coming along. Have a look at this bad boy. We've got a nice little beam ship. We've got a carrier. We've got a few uh, little frigates here. A couple of trade ships and a fuel tanker now. I think it's time we headed back to the warning beacon system and uh, salvage this up. All right. Let's duck into here and see what we uh, see what we left. A little weapon cache there. Hmm. That's uh, that's pretty tasty. Thank you very much. All right, well, there's an orbital habitat down there. I know that much. Hopefully, it'll give me some supplies. Hey, I mean, I'm not taking any of that food, but mm, mm, mm. that is what we like to see. And I thought I'd just do a random search. And as always, I seem to get that good old YouTuber luck. Look at this for a planet. Vast ruins, rich farmland, common organics. It has got ores as well. Pre-collapsed military base. Yeah, I think I've got myself a planet for when I want to uh, want to colonize. Want to set up my own uh, phase crew. Oh my god, that's a... Uh... It's a necromancer. That's a goddamn salvage phase ship. That sounds incredible. It's a salvage ship, but it's phase. All right, so things were starting to look good for us. I had a small but pretty tasty navy. I had a little bit of cash in my back pocket, but it wasn't enough for phase two. Uh, so I killed some more people. <laughs> This brought me up to about 450,000 credits, which admittedly really was not enough money to found a colony, but let's go colonize that world. This is probably a terrible, terrible idea, but screw it. Oh, this might be a problem. All the phase ships have really small crews. 790. God damn it. We still ain't quite got enough. Okay, well, we're gonna have to buy some more phase ships. Let's buy another necromancer. That's some more salvage and some more crew. All right, we just need one more ship, it seems. Screw it. Let's get another one. We'll have all of the salvage ships right okay there we can go but we can hold 1040 crew all right here we are let's make our way over to our lifeless world here that actually still has some cargo for us that we left all right established connie uh phase world there we go and we'll be the uh phase boys there we are there we go. We have a home now. First thing we need to do is ditch a bunch of our ships. Fantastic. Build, uh, we'll set some farming to be built up here. All uh, right, let's go over to a stable location, set up a comms beacon as well. With my colony set up and earning me a few pennies, I, I thought, hey, let's head out and do some surveying around us. Maybe find some AI cores or some blueprints. However, the moment I left my system, God damn it, there finally is a pirate raid coming at me. All right, here they come. I'm guessing that's the pirates. Oh, I don't even need to fight this. Oh, easy. Get wrecked. Oh, I thought I was actually going to have to fight something, guys. Come on. That's just embarrassing. All right, well, that complete. I think it's time we colonize that other world. We can just buy a load of crew from here. All right, let's get down to the planet and colonize it quick. 
So what's great about this planet, it's got bountiful farmland, which basically means we're just we're just basically just going to be farmers up in this system. Phase World has uh, rich farmland, and this has got bountiful farmland. So yeah, we're gonna be we're just gonna be nice little farmers up here in the north. That's my whole plan. We're Phase Farmers. All right, now with our two planets, uh, Phase World, and it's not a phase, making us a bit of cash. I think it's time we start building up our Phase Navy. Obviously, we've got our original fleet here with our Eagle and Drover and a few other ships. I'm going to build myself the best phase navy in the world. Um, I'll tell you, there's one good thing about having all these phase ships is we are incredibly fast. We are 20 burn everywhere. The, the only downside I seem to be having is it's still getting more and more expensive to run. <laughs> well, we are like three supplies a day. That's like the, the supply upkeep of a whole low-tech navy. In the meantime, we're going to pick up another trade ship fantastic that puts us back up to just over a thousand cargo which is not good i think it's time to go old school i don't know why i haven't done this yet but i think i found it but i think the best way to solve my money problem is uh going and doing some old school drug selling we might as well utilize my very very efficient navy i'll be honest i don't know why i didn't do this sooner i always say that the best way of making money in this game is drug running right and with my low sensor profile and 20 burn speed I made a hell of a lot of money selling drugs to religious crackheads. Right, 36k there from the food production, 115k from the drug running. That's uh, some pretty good stuff there. All right, well, that's another 173,000 uh, credits from selling drugs to the Lodic Path. Oh, another 249,000 there. All right, another 342,000. That puts us up to 664,000. And with all the money I made, I decided to treat myself to phase three. All right, well, I'll be completely honest. I have no idea how to build a doom, but this is what I've gone for. I, I followed the tried and true method of if you don't know what to build, ask what Lud would do. And uh, that's a lot of hammerheads. <laughs> Uh, we've decided to whack on a dedicated targeting core, expanded missile racks, ECCM package, and phase anchor. Uh, I think that's pretty good. I think I've got an idea on how this ship works. It's it's a pretty simple method, right? We're like, okay, this guy looks like we could kill him. And then we phase to get in range. Now, what should happen here, as soon as I unpause, we'll unleash a load of hammerheads, let our EMPs do a load of shield damage, and uh, it, it's going to look pretty tasty. Boom. And then here comes the hammerheads. Yep overloaded and then in comes the next wave and he's pretty much dead just one more for good measure there you go pretty pretty simple right it's a simple tactic we could probably put reapers on it but nah, hammerheads are for the true chads all right i think we're all ready to head out and uh explore the galaxy and find ourselves a nice ai core to put in our uh centralization bro which is going to be completed in a day i remember this system as a medium warning beacon so maybe we could find some stuff in here so we didn't we didn't manage to uh we didn't manage to search everything in here unfortunately all right there's a damaged remnant nexus here which i'm pretty sure will have an ai core on it uh we just need to be able to kill it i'm not gonna lie this could be a little bit difficult but i trust in the doom i'm not gonna lie this is such a bad idea but if i pull this off i am amazing just gotta creep up towards it. just gotta keep creeping dump down a bunch of mines have a load of hammerheads oh mate the station's getting wrecked get absolutely slapped up ah oh, this doom is fantastic there's the alpha ai core i was after well that was easy tasty right let's get out of it that was um that's mission complete boys already <laughs> <laughs> right, if we get home now and slap that on our uh, centralization bro, we should have a very, very good time. Uh, the maximum bonus production this high level intelligence can provide is free. Here we go, up in the farm production. I'm going to colonize this gas giant and build some mining on it, which means now I've got to play the fun job of trying to find a goddamn administrator. <laughs> oh, goddamn it. Fire activity in my system. All right, we are seriously going to have to deal those pirates. That's fine. Oh. Of course it is. The pirate base is literally just below me. For God's sake. All right, let's go deal with that. All right, here we are. Here's the pirate base. All right, well, if we can blow up a remnant station, we shouldn't have a problem blowing up a crappy pirate station, right? Here we are. Hello, Mr. Station. Here's a load of mines. Oh, ah, yeah. Yeah, we one-hit that station. All right, it should be dead now. Yeah. Easy clap. 
Easy clap. Good job, me. We actually got paid uh, three grand for that. With the death of that pirate base, I think I'd found the new love for phase ships. Admittedly, it took me a while to figure out how not to be a fucking idiot and use them with some degree of competence, but I got there in the end and that's all what matters. With that though, I feel like this is a good place to end today, so I'll start by saying a big thank you to all my Patreons who throw their money at me, and a big thank you to viewers like you who uh, definitely want to check out more Star Sector content. Right? <laughs>